Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you click the Alerts tab within the Action Items window, then you can see any active alerts for your company. Alerts notify you when certain activities or events that you specify are occurring within Sage 50. You can send email messages that notify people of the status of the alert. You can also view your alerts here on the Alerts tab within the Action Items window. Alerts will stay active and shown on this tab until the list of conditions that created the alert are satisfied. Now to set up alerts and their conditions, simply click the Alert button at the top of the Action Items window. This will open the Set Company Alerts window. To create a new alert, simply select a blank line within the Alert Conditions list. You can check the Email checkbox if you want to send out an email to alert others about this alert being activated. If you do this, type the email address of the person that you want to send the email to into the To field that appears in the Email Information section. You can also fill in the CC and BCC fields to send email copies to others. To enter multiple addresses into any of these fields, simply separate the email addresses with a semicolon. You can then check the Standard Message checkbox to ensure that a standard message is sent within the email to alert people of the condition. You can also check the Email Note checkbox and then type in your own custom message that you would like these individuals to see once they get this email alert. It could be a comment or additional instructions on how to resolve the alert. Now, after setting up your email conditions, then enter the area of your company that the alert relates to back in the Alert Condition row under the Apply To column. You can select either a customer, vendor, employee, inventory item, or general ledger account. Next, select what to include in the alert condition using the from and to columns, and this can be a range of items. Next, select the type of information that the alert is going to monitor under the type column. The choices shown will vary based on the type of alert that you selected. Next, select a condition and possibly an amount for the alert to monitor within the Condition and Amount fields. Now when you're done setting up the alerts, simply click the OK button in the toolbar of the Set Company Alerts window in order to save the alerts. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.